first solo goes to Eliana. Eliana and Yolanda are running late from the airport. They will be here to join us soon. She's not even here yet, and her kid's already got a solo. I hate her. The title is The Strangler. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what is um, I don't think there's any explanation needed. See the black hair, the witch hair. Hi. How you doing? Sleep here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh my God, stomach. Where's Eliana though? This is a serious piece. She can't dance. Why? She's Eliana saying, can't dance. Why? She got hurt. She no, her. she's fine, but she doesn't have enough educational hours. Well, you're a school teacher. I am a school teacher, and so I've been homeschooling her. She was studying ancient Roman civilization, so I took her to Rome to study it, like, hands-on. Well, no one's gonna buy that, Yolanda. This is ridiculous. Yolanda is here, and no Eliana. This is worse than cancer. This is even worse than prison. She has a solo, a really cool solo. She's devastated right now. Oh my god, Savannah left for no reason. Right? Oh my god. Somebody needs to tell Aaron. Go work out, do whatever you have to do today, and get Eliana in here dancing tomorrow. Okay, we will. Okay. My best. okay. All I wanted was for Eliana to waltz in here with those beautiful lines, the great flexibility, and all the experience that she's had, and show these girls, hey, step it up and try to beat me, or you're gonna lose every routine all season long. Hi, ladies. Hi, Eliana. Welcome, welcome to Pittsburgh. Thank you. What's going on? Thank you. Um, Abby called and said, I need Eliana quick because the team is not doing well. You were fourth overall last week, the group yes. dance? I don't have a good grasp on Yolanda yet, but when I meet people for the first time, I'd have walked around the corner and been like, hi, I'm Ian. My daughter's Hannah. We're from Indiana. Who are you? And she's like, rawr. Where is she? One, two, three, four, you, Are you five. upset that Eliana's back? No, I'm upset that you're back. Too, too bad, isn't it? I come with Eliana. She wants to be here. I'm supporting where she wants to be. She has a solo this week if she dances. It's if called The dances. Strangler. The Strangler. It's water under the bridge. Water under the bridge. There's a reason why Eliana has a solo. Abby knows the kind of dancer she is, and I think Stacey, if she doesn't want me here, I don't care. The fact is, my daughter's here and you know she's a threat. That's all I'm gonna say. What? I cannot believe this week. I had two soloists entered in this competition, and now I'm down to one, Eliana, and she hasn't even been in rehearsal all week. So here I am, cleaning this kid's routine in the dressing room before the competition. I mean, this is ridiculous. Hello. How's it going? I'm so excited to be back with the ALDC. This is my first competition, and I have to do very well to prove to Miss Abby that I can be on the team, and that I can do well, and I can win, too. So how's it going? Well, Abby, I, I'm actually really worried about the dance. She has not had any... Oh, come on. It's not an option. You came here to be on the ALDC competition. Right, You were given a right. solo the first week walking in. You're dancing. Abby? I, you know what? You're not going to waste our time like this. Gianna came early this morning to work with you. Let's see it. Take it from the top. I brought her back onto this team so that the others could learn from her. And now what are they going to learn? That mommy's going to pull your solo? No way. Not a chance in hell is that happening. All right, let's see it, honey. Talk about your feelings, baby. Tell me Don't let your foot turn in on the floor. Like. Eliana must be evil. This is a dark piece. I don't think this is a big stretch for Eliana. She's witnessed her mother. Chin up a little bit. Yeah, she's you're, she's fine. You think? Your technique is, yeah. The number's great, Janet. All right, let's rock. Let's go. Are we ready? It's enough time on this. From Abilene Dance Company, Eliana performing The Strangler. The part I'm most nervous about is definitely the rope. You never know what's gonna happen to it. It could just go another way. You don't expect it all. So I'm hoping that everything goes well and that the rope is on my side. So rope better be on my side. Talk about your feelings, baby. Tell me what it's like living in the ocean, baby. Beneath those 
I feel like I kind of let her down just because I missed the rope one time. I mean, I kind of like grabbed it but didn't make it. But otherwise, I thought like my technique was really good. Hey, Ellie did a good job on the stage. She looked really pretty. Your kid missed her rope two times. She, she was, was so fantastic. Good. I mean, she was amazing. You guys, she shouldn't even be here, period. So cute. said that. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you did it, but they said it. So why do you believe what they said? Who cares what they said? Yeah. If you're going to be in this business, there's people in the world that are cruel. Ellie, you're here, A, to be an asset, and B, to challenge them. And you have to be a leader on this team. You can't be in the bathroom crying with a bunch of other kids. Well, my mom dragged me you know, over there, and she's like, I have to tell you something. That's adult business, and she should handle it with the other mothers. Why would a mother Yolanda, put these ideas and these thoughts into her kid's head. Why would you do that to hurt your child's feelings? It's awful. Your top overall junior soloist. The Strangler. It's Eliana from Ivy League and David's Company. not expect to win first place because I learned like my whole solo in an hour and a half but since you know I'm an Abby dancer and I know like what Gia wants that's why like I did so well. Congratulations. Well hopefully next week Ellie will be full cleared to go and I think that when she comes in I think that we can get back on a winning streak. She's definitely a great dancer and definitely can add things to the team as a dancer. She definitely Stacey, can. do you feel that way? Because I'm just kind of looking you in the mirror and you just seem like... Why are you looking at me in the mirror? I guess I'm just trying to wonder, is, is, is she going to be accepted? Because please don't use anything that you have against me against Eliana. No. No. Because you hurt an eight-year-old child. You're an older woman. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Child. Like, what, I'm so two years you older say. than you? I like, don't. okay, whatever. You, as a, that's why your kid is dancing are you with serious? a rope. Are yeah, you what do you think, it's a coincidence? It's just a nightmare. I'm sitting in between two grown women. And then you lie what about a restraining order? Who aren't going to bury the hatchet. Well, I'm a restraining order, order against you. Order on me. And you know that nothing ever you happened. I defended myself because you know what? You don't have a restraining order. The girls don't need this. The team doesn't need this. That's why you lost oh. your practice. Whoa. You couldn't be a psychologist Whoa. anymore because you. I am still a psychologist, you stupid bitch. Honestly, for the sake of your child, your mental status. Take a breath. You no, are not allowed to lunge at somebody like We have to come to a point that we can exist. At the top of the pyramid, Eliana. Too bad she's not here. Tell her I expected no less than a victory from her. I'll give it to her. This week, we are going to Canton, Ohio, attending Drop the Beat. G. Anina, you're performing a duet with Eliana. Yay. Yay. Let's see. You will be portraying the character of Judge Judy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you will be Judge Gia. Eliana will resume her role as the strangler. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe right after the girls get on my case about being friends with Eliana, I get assigned to duet with her. 
time it's another character piece. All of my solos cause drama with Abby, so I really need our duet to go well so I can prove to Abby that I can do a character piece. But Eliana can't even rehearse with me at the studio, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Okay, Janina, come put the wig on. She's yeah, gonna she get, she's gonna get your hand-me-down wig. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling this to Eliana. This is your story. Say you did it. Say you lied. Say you're guilty. There you go. Here's your gavel. Get your wig on. Oh, you got her eyebrows too. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Like it's it's like taunting back and forth in a courtroom. One, two, three. It's a little awkward and weird dancing with Giannina after what happened this morning. She might rather be dancing with her bestie, Eliana, but I'm still gonna try hard in case Eliana can't learn it in time. I wanna show Miss Abby that she can count on me and I'm just as good as Eliana. What's the deal with the strangler? Well, Yolanda had a situation a few years ago with Stacy, and... She strangled her. Tried to. I pushed her back and I never placed my arms around her neck. There's pictures and video, Yolanda. Yeah, exactly. There's there pictures and video. So I can and there's Google no that? threat. Yes, and you can let me Google, Google it. that. You, you can search it by Yolanda Chokes. Yeah. Stacey. Yeah. And let's see Lily how she goes and she lies. So let's watch the whole thing. See, you're over there by yourself. Those two are over there. So listen to how calmly I speak. Stacey, shut up so they can actually hear it. Mom, they're bullying you. Mom. Look at Eliana crying. No, we're not looking at Eliana, we're looking at me. That is, Eliana's not the point. She's yelling in my face saying that I was bullying. <gasps> Yolanda? I never yelled in her face. Talked calmly, got my stuff, and left. Hey, 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 And right there, within one second, I pushed her back. Can't be reactive. No, go back and see how Lily said, Mom, she yelled in my face. You still look crazy and we just all watch the video. I did not yell. Can we, can we just, uh, you know what? We're not continuing this duet. I'm not doing it. We're, we're not doing any more work on this duet. Because she can't act like that when Sarah's in her busting her butt, you're in her busting her butt. I'm watching it all for her kid. And she's sitting up there mouthing off like that in my studio. Go. Gone. Maybe you'll have a duet, maybe you won't. Go. I have no idea what, what's happening with the duet. Hey, hey. Hi, guys. Um, what's happening so with the duet? She said it's ridiculous that I'm in there busting my butt and Gianna's in there busting her butt for her kid, and she's being crazy. And go back down and tell no. Abby that I'm defending myself I'm against somebody who's trouble. absolutely psycho. I'm not psycho. going in there getting trouble. Wait, no. OK, Sarah's, you don't have to, but I will. Sarah's delivering a message. So we don't know if it's going to happen or not. So now I'm going to get screamed up because she's going down to ask. Abby, I'm going to tell you right now that you're saying that Excuse I'm psycho. Me. No, I'm Excuse sorry. Excuse me. Just you. They're no, having me. Four people work right fine. here. That's fine. That's fine. But no, don't say that fine. I'm up there being psycho. I They're said, like, why are we? I am not going to be here and rehash. Two, three, four Abby, people I'm not going to sit working here and our backs off because your kid's not here. And my kid wants to be here. She wants to be here and she can't. I'm defending myself up there and I will not rehash something that happened two years ago. I won't do it. Don't interrupt rehearsal again. It's not your kid you're screwing up. You already screwed your kid up. I didn't screw my kid yes, up. Yes, you did. That is rude. Yes, you that did. That is rude. I'm done with this. Moms, get in here. Let's go. We're competing tomorrow. We're already here in Ohio after school hours so that everybody could be here. Now, Giannina, you went and had an extra rehearsal so that Eliana could get put in the duet. Excuse me, Miss Abby. I think that Eliana does the dance really well, but I feel like I've been here all week and I've been working really hard, and I feel like I perform the character better, even though she's amazing, but I feel like I earned the opportunity to show you. All right, let me see it. I love a good dance off. Show me what you've got, girls. So I feel like since I got here kind of in the middle of the season, I've kind of been on the outskirts just because out of my schooling a check. So I'm really thankful for Sarah that she stepped in for me. But honestly, I feel like I'm the one that's meant to go on stage because it was my duet and it was choreographed for me. And I want to show everyone that I can kill this duet even with very little rehearsal time. I can still go out there and I can do amazing.
uh, I am hesitant in giving this to Sarah because it's not her best side. Like, if it would have been choreographed for you, she would have been leaping right, you would have been leaping left. Okay, so Abby, let's not waste any more time. What do you want to do? We're going to stick to our guns. Eliana, you're doing the duet. Don't make a mistake. Okay. Sarah, thank you for your services. I'm annoyed. Because <laughs> that could have been my dance. <laughs> I've worked my butt off all week, and she and her mom haven't even been here, and now it's not my dance when I look better doing it. Is Eliana ready to go on stage? Or her costume's on, her makeup's done. I know, but it seems like you're still going over a lot of stuff. She's not on trial. Ellie's not no, on trial. No, she's on trial. It's supposed to be the judge and the, the accused. Oh, I know something we can judge. Stacy, come on up here. You are the plaintiff. Yolanda, come on. You're the defendant. I am going to put this strangling issue to rest once and for all. You have 30 seconds to plead your case. Do you need a Bible, Miss Abby? Do we need to swear oh in God, the Oh, my God, Ian, you have a Bible? Of course, I have you Bible. carry a Bible, and You solemnly swear to tell the truth. I do? I do. She can't. Go. I have never choked her. I pushed her back. Her daughter lied and said that I was screaming in her face. I just calmly talked to my daughter to say, please get your stuff, Time. and let's go and leave. We have a witness. I did say that you yelled at me, but I'm not going to say that you calmly told me that so I And Lily, it's not OK <laughs> to say. You had your it's not seconds. OK to do lie. Not, you even if you are eight years old, even if you are eight years old, even if you are eight years old, you speak. Do not talk to my child. Don't talk to my child. I can do whatever I want to Get out of my face. No. All right, let's stop. You're not allowed to talk to her. This was supposed to bury the hatchet and put this behind us, and it was supposed to be fine. My courtroom. It's not going to be a place for this behavior. I'm holding them all in contempt. Let's go. She d she literally just touched me. Are you serious? Because your ass sticks out? Sorry about Get that. Get her out of here. You're out of control. You have problems. This is crazy. The kids are upset. They have to dance. She's a pathological liar. She lies about stuff that can be proven in an instant. Why? I don't know. She's nuts. Mark my words, this woman's a time bomb. She's delusional. And I'm tired of all the other people, too, saying that all me, me, me. Then go home. Nobody wants to hear it, especially Stacey. You, you heard how many times you said, go home, go home. It is because I'm a threat to Lily, and that's why she's trying to get me out. I want you to either stay and be safe or not do it, because I don't want you to, to have Abby say, oh, you made a fool of yourself because it happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I went into the wet end. I am definitely doing the duet because I don't want to let Giannina down. And even though we have Sarah right now, if really would like to do it, so I'm just going to try to block all of the craziness and all of the drama, even though it has like affected me a little bit. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Gia. I think the dance would have had a lot better chance of winning because I think Eliana was not in it to win it. 